Voters get to make the call this fall about the increasing number of Deschutes County commissioners. Isabella Warren explains what it took to get it on the ballot. 6,800 signatures. That's about how many signatures John Halen collected in order to put his citizen petition to expand the Deschutes County Commission on the November ballot. And he made that just days before that August 7th deadline. A lot of the pressure's off and now I just need to convince people that this is a great idea. If passed, Measure 9-173, Halen's year-long citizen initiative, would expand the Deschutes County Commission from three to five. I think that it the frustrations with the county finally hit a hit a breaking point and I think that this shows a way forward that could potentially fix a lot of these problems and I think I just timed it right. Halen submitted 6,581 required signatures last month for review and was told the usual margin of error was 20 percent. In this case, the county clerk's office found only a 6 percent margin of error, bringing his total of signatures after the second submission to almost 7,000. I was like, oh my God, there's no way we're going to make 1,500. I'm like, yeah, we'll shoot for it, but oh my gosh, this is really cutting it close. And when they came back and said your error rate was only 6% and you only need another 508, I was like, wow, I've already got 475 in the, in the baffles here. The initiative hasn't made it to the November ballot without criticism. County Commissioner Phil Chang has shared his support for the expansion, highlighting budget issues he believes are the result of a small commission. When people say, oh, how are we going to afford the two commissioners? I say we can't afford to have just three commissioners. Commissioners Patty Adair and Tony DeBone have said the initiative is unnecessary due to the size of the county. We've been growing, but our growth currently has slowed down. Um, I just feel, you know, it's sometimes when you add more people, it adds more um, confusion. Commissioner Adair says she believes if the measure is passed by voters, it'll take some work to implement. What I think is important if it does pass is that the commissioners need to be appropriated per region like they do in Lane County. That would only be fair. Otherwise, we could come up with five commissioners from Bend. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But, you know, I, I had to do something. I feel like I had to contribute to Deschutes County somehow. Halen says the next couple months will be used to advocate for the measure and get endorsements from elected officials and important members of the community. And he's already visited city council meetings and the Bend Parks and Rec meeting. So has the public's opinion been so far? Actually, it's kind of mixed, but a lot of people on social media, they're a little skeptical right now. But a lot of people say that this is actually a long time coming. Mm. Right. Okay. We'll see you in November. Thank you, Isabella. <laughs>